Welcome to the Oyako Dojo Karate channel. This video contains 8 rounds of shadow boxing drills to practice the jab and cross. For all rounds, I recommend 1.5 to 2 minutes of exercising and 30 seconds of rest between the rounds. In this video, we are showing only a compressed version, about half a minute long, but please practice the exercises for as long as you need to, one and a half to two minutes. The first round is warm up where we are moving forward, backwards and sideways, first slowly and later at speed. The second round is for practicing the jab. In the first 30 seconds we are going to practice stepping in, jabbing and stepping out slowly. And then we are going to speed it up to normal speed. And we are also going to add lateral motion with feints to confuse the opponent. In the third round, we add the cross to the stepping jab cross step out. Here you can see it sideways. And we first practice it slowly. And then we speed it up and add lateral motion and feints. Round 4 is retreating jab. Retreating jab has a special footwork where the jab has to land at the same time as the right foot lands. Here we are showing a double retreating jab. Now we have the side view of the double retreating jab. And finally, we can add in lateral movement, feints, and perform the double retreating uh, jab from lateral movement. Round 5 is the uh, retreating cross. The retreating cross has a special footwork where we first step back with the right foot and then hit the cross. Uh, this is also called a pendulum cross. We are adding the retreating jab and then the retreating cross now. And here is the side view of the retreating cross and the retreating jab and cross. Actually, it's a double retreating jab and retreating cross. In round 6 we are looking at countering. We are first retreating and then driving forward into a counter. First we are practicing the footwork. It's important that at the last step of the retreat the, our weight doesn't go too far back because it's going to be difficult to drive forward. Next we are adding a jab. So this is retreating and countering with a jab. And finally, we add the cross to the retreating, countering with jab.
in round seven we are looking at lateral motion and from the lateral motion we are throwing jabs with uh, feints and feint steps. This is very similar to the first round. Next we are going to add in a cross and here we have lateral motion with a jab cross. And in the final 30 seconds we add the retreating jab. So we step in with a jab cross and retreat with a jab. First we do it slowly and once we figured out the body mechanism of, of this combination, we can speed it up to normal speed. In, in the last rounds, there can be many of them, we are creating combinations freely. If you don't know how to create combinations, then towards the end of this uh, video, I'm going to give you three specific combinations that we are going to build up. In this round, you are allowed to do a jab, cross, double jab, cross, retreating, countering. So all of the techniques that we have practiced in the previous rounds are good to go. First, we do this slowly if needed and then we can speed it up to normal speed. The first combination is a double retreating jab and countering with a double jab and cross. First we start off by practicing double retreating jab, then we add the counter jab. So double retreating jab and the countering step or the counter double jab. Double retreating jab, double countering jab. And we add the cross. So we have double retreating jab, double countering jab and cross. The second combination is a jab cross, jab cross retreat. We start off with a slow jab cross and then extending it to jab cross, jab cross and then start speeding up the jab cross a little bit. Make sure that you are always stepping with your punches. That's the key to this combination. One more time. And now we start adding the retreat. And it's a double retreat right away. One more time. The third combination is a double jab cross, double retreating jab, double uh, retreating cross. And we do this twice at different angles. So 
so we are building it up slowly so we have the jab jab cross retreating jab jab and we are going to add in the retreating cross we am showing it at a different angle now and there is the retreating cross so double jab cross double retreating jab retreating cross and now we are going to add the turning jab so we turn 45 degrees and hit the jab back back retreating cross and the um, angle jab and the angle we add crosses and then retreating uh, jabs cross retreating jab next time we are going to have two retreating jabs here cross with two retreating jabs and retreating cross that's the full combination now And we can speed it up. And one more time. I hope you found these drills useful. Thank you for watching this video and please visit our channel again.